Hello everyone, welcome back to GK Code Lab. So in this video, I'll be focusing on five very crucial points which are very important for someone who is uh, trying to move into a uh, big data domain and uh, they have gained some uh, basic knowledge and uh, might as well have got uh, some certifications but uh, they have not got into the very much important nitty gritties on uh, an actual project. So these are uh, five points from my side which you can uh, keep on your fingertips and enhance your knowledge or just focus, just give give some time, 15-20 minutes and uh, get those details as well before going for any, any interview. First point is about Linux experience. So if you don't have it, forget everything. First go and have your hands on on any Linux environment. That is very important. And once you get it, the detail that you should focus on is it's not all about the basic commands, be it like you are going for a fresher uh, role, but uh, it's not all about the basic commands, the listing command, make directory and uh, uh, copy and move. And it's not all about that you should have the basic understanding of how a Linux system interacts, how it connects with other systems. So very importantly, just explore the commands like SCP, SSH, FTP, uh, how, how will you uh, uh, move some files to that server? How will you connect and uh, move the data from here to there? So that part is very much important because I have seen people who have actually worked on Linux environment, but they are really not sure wherever we are working what if i have to transfer some file from this system to some other system so that is very important the system that you are working is an enclosed uh, operating system but how will you interact from there to any other server or a windows machine linux machine whatever so explore on that part second point uh, i would suggest is uh, you might have learned everything about the uh, coding for a specific language like say you are going for uh, uh, big data with a language that you are showing in your resume as Scala or let's say Python. Okay. Uh, you might have learned the functions, the working of that particular programming language. But once you build that code, what will happen to it? How will that actually run in the environment where it is actually supposed to? Do you have that information? If not, note this point you should be aware of this. Uh, how will I build this code? Um, if at all it requires, it's, is it uh, just a, a script sort of thing? It doesn't need any build. You build the code and it can be directly run or it's a Java application, it's a Python application. Uh, how am I going to run this uh, after coding? How will this actually run in any actual environment? that part just be cognizant of those facts that this is very important for you to understand so try to get understanding like how will this code be deployed how will this code be uh, moved to any environment then third point from my side is uh, learn how this application will be actually deployed which i uh, told a bit of it in my last point but uh, where this will be deployed Will, will it be a in-house cluster? Will it be a cloud? And if cloud, I'm not asking you to get the certification of that cloud. If you get that, that's even better. But uh, try to understand if, uh, if, if uh, that, uh, if you are asked to uh, deploy and run uh, into any environment, how and all that environment works. For example, I'll tell you uh, like uh, people working with Python, might just say, yeah, we run a pip command and uh, uh, that actually deploys my code and all. What that pip command is doing actually, your code is sitting in your local and you are, uh, uh, what actually on, on, on the back end that is doing, you should have the understanding that anyways, like I have developed the code, I'll have to push it to uh, it into the environment or um, let's say I'm using any cloud uh, alternative. So in that case, I'll have to uh, give the reference to my code or GitHub repository for that service to access my code and run it, right? So on that part, how will my code be deployed? That understanding is very important. Now, next point from my side is very important thing that is versions. Whatever 
libraries or the frameworks that you are working you should be very well aware of the versions of those libraries or framework because uh, if you are not uh, i'll tell you what challenge you might face um, let's say uh, an interviewer asks you um, like have you used this function or how to use this function or it gives you any use case that uh, how can this be solved you um, uh, there, uh, something click, uh, clicks in your mind and you say this can be solved by this function and that function was recently introduced into that library let's say spark you tell any uh, function of spark that was recently introduced in spark 3.0 you told that and uh, after that he might ask what version of spark you are using and if you are not aware it's fine or you can cover that up somehow but if you tell a wrong version he can clearly tell that uh, the version you are telling might be from some other blog and uh, the uh, functionality of that particular uh, uh, function uh, you are telling just uh, learned from uh, some blog or YouTube video. So doesn't match and uh, interviewer can clearly tell. So uh, be uh, cognizant of the uh, versions of the libraries that you are trying to show or if you already have an experience, just try to be sure like what you are telling. Another uh, last point from my side is the project management. So if you have actually worked on any uh, project, uh, there are many project management tools or uh, the uh, scrum system is uh, usually used. So uh, it's very simple to understand from a uh, developer's perspective at least. You don't have to go in very detail but uh, for a five to six years of experience at least get a hold on what happens in this scrum system what uh, what goes on in uh, jira not even jira like other systems uh, can also be uh, referred here uh, whatever uh, project management tools are uh, being used so uh, get an understanding of uh, how uh, any requirement comes in who gives you the requirement how and all it is scheduled like uh, how and all it is assigned to you uh, what all you do after getting a requirement so uh, all those project management techniques uh, be sure you are uh, aware of i would say go with scrum just understand uh, take uh, take any video on youtube or uh, just study any blog and uh, try to understand how the scrum system works and uh, overall idea at least if you have it uh, on the back of your head uh, you'll be able to understand yourself and you'll be able to explain to your interviewer So these are very small things which um, because uh, they don't directly relate to learning anything that is when uh, people try to uh, miss this they might end up getting into a successful job but uh, the attempts that you face due to lack of these skills or the information I would say these were not skills these were information or awareness uh, if uh, you have after watching this video you'll be able to uh, get to your goal uh, much faster than uh, you would have if you missed it. So that was all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching GK Code Labs. See you in my next video. Thank you guys. See you later.